A few days ago I made a video about video tools. A few days ago I made a video about MIDI tools in waveform and how awesome they are. So I just wanted to see what sort of MIDI tools are available in waveform free. That's a lot more than I expected. Stick around to the end to see a bonus feature of waveform free where you can use racks and make all sorts of cool stuff happen with LFOs and the first thing that's absolutely missing from here that's in waveform pro is this track up here that would be called chord track the chord track is a really cool thing because you can set each of these ones up to follow that same chord track but now all is not lost when you use waveform free because you can still put on progressions down here and the thing is you just have to do them each individually you still get all of these presets i don't think it's quite as many presets i may be wrong about that but as far as i can see you can get chord progressions three chord progressions four chord progressions all of that stuff it's still there just you have to set up each one individually you can also click on each chord you can change the nature of each chord we'll get to that in a minute just by clicking here and you can change the octaves the inversions you can change the types you can add sevens all kinds of things. So that's pretty simple, right? And you can see here, that's the type of progression that we're working with. Get that many styles. There's not quite as many here. But for some reason, when I went further down, and there's other trackings, we get loads of them. And I'm not sure if that's a small glitch to do with the fact that I have Waveform Pro as well. It's currently in an unregistered state because I'm using Waveform Free setup. So, click on settings feature set and you can check the different feature sets and see what stuff comes in each feature set and I'll do a video more in depth about all the stuff that comes later on so this one is pattern style arpeggio and it gives me all of these arpeggios it's a crazy amount of arpeggios like there's just so many and then oops this one seems to only give me this many, so I'm not sure why that happened. But in any case, that's more than enough to make all sorts of interesting stuff happen. It's all instant. Here's drums. This is done with um, a step clip instead of a MIDI clip because in a step clip when you press something here it adds it into all of the future ones and it's a very quick way to set up drums. I like it a lot. And you can set up all different ones afterwards. Check out my video about step clips up here. This one here is another arpeggio. And this one is just all down, downward moving. And what I've done differently here is I've made sevens on each of these and a couple of nines at the end just for interest. You can see the pattern length is six, steps is eight. That changes the nature of the thing. Just makes it a bit more interesting. It's, that's really cool. So, you see that? You get all of these different types. Waveform is currently in demo mode. Please start a 30 day free trial or unlock with a license to disable this morning. That's what happens in demo mode. It's free, but it's not released yet, so I have to use the demo mode. So, this is really intense kind of. Um, this is a huge amount of detail for a free DAW. You just see what happens when we press different things here. Look.
and you can grab each individual one like that and you can press control and O brings it up an octave control shift and O brings it down an octave that's really handy so the whole thing together sounds like this <laughs> I know the progression sounds a bit corny, especially with that downward thing, but anyway, that's just the way it came out. This here, I've used, I've used send tracks from each of these, and uh, the quickest way to set up send, send tracks is hold control while you click and drag, and you drag it like that, and then it becomes a send track from the new track. Control Z undoes that, so I don't need that track at all. Irrelevant. And then you put your return track here, natural reverb, that seems to be one of the new features that's going to be coming in waveform free 12 and this here this is a dj filter and what i've got here is an lfo so as it plays it does this If you want to get crazy with this, you right click on there. Oh, we could right click both of them actually. Let's let's do this. Shift, click, and then right click, and then wrap these plugins in a new rack plugin. And there you go. Those things are now in there. It now says track six wrapper. You can rename that if you want to make things easier to follow. You can put these in here. This green line here, moving to frequency, that's coming from that part. Um, you can add extra LFOs in here. As many as you want, you can alter all sorts of things with LFOs. You can alter other LFOs with other LFOs. You can alter all the parameters in the reverb or in the filter or in anything else that you put in there, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with parallel processing and all kinds of stuff. It's quite an amazing little place. If you get your head around it, watch my video about it and see what I mean. There's going to be lots more coming on Waveform Free very soon. Keep an eye on the channel and I'll see you there.